Good morning, afternoon, evening, night, whenever you're watching this, geographers. Welcome to the Mr. Sin channel. Last time on this channel, we looked at different agricultural hearths around the world and we talked about how different agricultural products and practices diffused around the world. Today, we're going to be going into the second agricultural revolution as we go into unit five, topic four. When talking about agriculture, remember agriculture is the deliberate modification of the earth's surface through cultivation of plants and rearing of animals to obtain substance or economic gain. This means we're either producing food to feed ourselves and our family or we're selling it to make some money. Now, before we get into the second agricultural revolution, I want to quick talk about the first agricultural revolution, also known as the Neolithic revolution. This is when we saw a shift from nomadic lifestyles to sedentary lifestyles, and it happened in the Fertile Crescent. Here we saw a change from hunters and gatherers to sedentary agriculture. Starting again in that Fertile Crescent, it diffused throughout Africa, Europe, Southwest Asia, and eventually the world. This lifestyle allowed for stable population growth, advancements in the economy and the society, and eventually created the complex world that we know today. Okay, so we have a base understanding now that first agricultural revolution. And we're going to skip ahead in time now all the way up to about the 18th century industrial revolution time. We're going to be going into now the second agricultural revolution. And I realize I'm missing a lot of history here and a lot of important events. But remember geographers, this isn't a history class. Now the second agricultural revolution started in Great Britain and eventually diffused around the world. But it occurred in Great Britain first because of the industrial revolution. This allowed for new ideas and innovations to revolutionize the agricultural industry. Inventions like the cotton gin, the seed drill, the steel plow, grain elevators, the McCormick Reaper and Harvester all revolutionized the field of agriculture and led to a dramatic increase in agricultural production. During the second agricultural revolution, we also saw the enclosure movement. This is when small farmers in England were kicked off their land as their land was consolidated into larger farms. Land went from being owned communally to privately, which allowed for efficient efficiency and productivity to increase, as now these new private landowners saw direct benefits from their production. They were more incentivized to take care of their land and also increase their production. It actually countered the tragedy of the commons. Now the Industrial Revolution and the Second Agricultural Revolution transformed society. Migration patterns changed as we saw more people moving from rural communities and moving to urban areas in hopes for economic opportunities in these newly formed factories. Farms were now producing more food than ever before, which allowed for more specialization to occur. It also made it possible for more people to work in the factories and in the cities, which allowed for a population boom to happen. We also saw people's diets continue to change and evolve as their daily calorie count went up. This was because of that second agricultural revolution and innovations from the industrial revolution, which allowed for a greater food surplus for society. And as advancements in transportation and technology continued to occur, we saw the world become more connected than ever before. This allowed for the trade of different agricultural products and practices. It allowed for economic growth to occur. It allowed for our population to continue rising to the point of where some people like Thomas Malthus started to wonder if this is sustainable. However, we see during this time that society takes off and we saw the modern world start to form. So we can see that the second agricultural revolution not only transformed the field of agriculture, but society as a whole. It allowed for population growth to occur. It allowed for urbanization and countries to move into stage two of the demographic transition model. It also laid the foundation for the modern world that's yet to come. All right, geographers, now it's time to practice what we've learned. Answer the questions on the screen right now and check your answers in the comments below. Also consider subscribing. It's free and it's a great way to support the channel. And it'll also make sure that you don't miss future topic review videos. And if you are struggling with your AP Human Geography class and need a little bit more help, well, check out my ultimate review view packet. It is a great resource that covers all seven units of AP Human Geography. It'll help you get an A in your class and also a five on that national exam. And that's all the time we have for today. Thanks again for watching Geographers. I'm Mr. Sin and until next time, I'll see you online.